Hello, it's the start of a weekend vlog. It's going to be a shorter weekend vlog because we're off to Edinburgh on Sunday. But I just wanted to do my first vlog because um, obviously I've been away for a little while. Um, so it's nice to be back doing YouTube. I'm totally ready now and I was really looking forward to sort of starting. I know this is going to be like a shorter one, but I just thought I'd start now um, and have this ready for you for Monday, at six o'clock as usual. We're off to Edinburgh on Sunday with my dad, his wife, Toby and Lee. Um, it's kind of a last minute thing so we're planning lots of adventures with my dad um, so I'm looking forward to that and um, we're staying in a really nice hotel um, he's paying for it yay this is his little treat um, so I'm really looking forward to having a little break and watching comedy and just spending time with my dad and my family and everything so yes that's what we're doing on Sunday so there will be another vlog like Edinburgh vlog It'll probably be like a long vlog, the next one, sort of Edinburgh and the following weekend. But today is the, what day is it today? Let me look on my car. The 9th of August, it's Friday. The time is quarter to two. Um, I planned on starting this earlier, but then we woke up late. We slept in, me and Lee, and it was half past nine. And we were meant to meet Lee's family for breakfast at half nine at Frankie and Benny's. Um, so we didn't get there till 10. And I was like, ah, so I look a bit of a mess today. Um, I want to do like nice makeup for my first vlog back. But um, yeah, this is how I look. So messy hair. I didn't. I had a cold shower because there was no hot water. Anyway, this is too much information. So I'm in Stalham. Um, I've just picked up some candles. I, I went to a car boot sale on Thursday, yesterday, um, in Hemsby, and I found lots of things and some amazing brand new candles from B&Q um, so I just picked up 30 of them um, because they really are amazing so I'll show you one of them when I get home so we'll have a little look around Stalham and the charity shops and then I've got to show you um, some new curtains I was kindly gifted some amazing curtains like made to measure so I'm going to be showing you those because they are lovely and then tomorrow night I'm working it's my first gig back um you know in ages um, so that'll be nice as well so i'm singing at Vauxhall holiday park in great yarmouth so it's a nice local one and then sunday off to edinburgh and we'll get my dad on the vlog as well because he's coming up tomorrow um to norfolk so right i'm gonna get going because it's really hot it's 25 degrees although although the sun is out a bit it's really hot in the car and i'm starting to sweat it's good here because you get three hours parking at tesco um, so I've just left my car there, so I'll have a little look around. Then I've got to get some things from Tesco as well. Um, so it's good to get three hours. I thought it was like an hour and a half, which would have been okay, but three hours? That's a lot of time. It feels funny to be vlogging again. Yeah, I'm back. Woohoo! Some lovely hanging baskets over there. Oh, I'm going to go straight into that one. The Priscilla Bacon Hospice Charity Shop. This was good last time and really nicely like presented over there. So I've just popped in and I'm chatting to the lady, what was your name sorry? Zoe. Zoe and we're just finding out a bit about the charity so I'm just going to show you something. So it's Priscilla Bacon Hospice and they are raising money so you've raised 3.6 million so far and it's for for a new hospice. New hospice, okay. And this is our target. Right, I see. And how long did it take you to get to 3.6 um, million? Just over two years. Oh really, so that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know this. This is great. So thank you Zoe for letting me know. Yes. Um, and hopefully some more people can come in here and support um, the charity. Is it just Norfolk you are, you're in? Th this Suffolk? is where, our, this is where the oh, charity ships okay. are. Okay, right, I'm gonna film so that now. That. I'm gonna film the map. So these are the other shops, got one in Sheringham, North Walsham, Stalham, which is this? Oh yeah, Aylsham, <laughs> Aylsham Drayton and Tabram. You haven't got one in Southwold? We haven't, no, not oh, just yet. Oh, I thought I'd been to that one. I've been to another. That must have been, oh, it was North Walsham the other day and I found some dresses. Well, that was great chatting to Zoe about, um, you know, the charity and everything and just knowing they're nice and local and what they need the money for, which is brilliant. I like these mugs. These are very nice, how much are they? Two pounds, where's that one from? A very posh one like the lantern over to the dresses which is my favorite part the bric-a-brac and the dresses i've just spotted this dress it's really pretty and it's quite um thick material and i quite like the little cap sleeves and it's five pounds um the makers club l it's really nice um 
really nice pattern so I think I'm gonna get that I'm not gonna try it on because I think it'll fit it's quite stretchy um, yeah so this is my first charity shop purchase of the day so I've got my dress from the Priscilla Bacon one and now I'm gonna go into this charity shop see if there's anything in here Some apples they've got a lot of mugs in here 50p my favorite price lots of glasses like this section that's quite a nice cupboard around here oh there quite nice i don't need it but it's quite a nice little thing i've only got another bit down there i love looking at all the different bits and pieces here it's a really good charity shop as well to come back to these ones more often it's so warm today it's really muggy even the wind is warm which is unusual for north it's normally freezing right so i've done those two charity shops and i've got a couple more like further up this road and i bought some little teacups in the last one and they were really sweet i think it was four pounds for a set of six with the, like um they had their little saucers and some plates so i'm gonna put those away because once we've done our kitchen i'm gonna put all the little teacups out because i've got some others um so that was good and then yeah a couple more charity shops down here and then i'll be finished oh i think i found some things in there last time so i might have a quick pop into jimmy toolies and then oh i had a coffee in there during vlogmas if you watch that um and then i think there's two more charity shops along there I'm in break um, charity shop in Salem and I've just spotted this Kath Kidson teapot but it's £8.50 I do like it I'm going to think oh I like those plates I'm going to think about that because I did get one the other day a Kath Kidson teapot I put a picture on Instagram but I do have these bowls and plates and stuff oh I don't know it's lovely I've thought about it for about two seconds I think I'm gonna get it right I'm gonna get the teapot it's too lovely to leave behind and it it will match my other one it will be its friend Okay. <laughs> thank you the final one of the day is the RSPCA charity shop and then I'm gonna go to Tesco and then head home oh naughty lady I've just got home it's about 4 30 and these were the um, little teacup sets I bought and they were a pound each I think they were four pounds for the set of I think there's five of them oh no less than a pound than about I don't know 80p or something just very sweet and let me see what the make of these were hang on let me see oh there isn't a make but just very very cute little plates so yes like they're the ones I picked up today from one of the charity shops it's Saturday afternoon it's about half past 12 and it is so windy today because I went out this morning briefly and oh there you go there's a big gust um, and I was nearly blown away. I'm just over at my mum's house. Um, we're tidying it up because our friends are coming to stay to look after Rufus. Um, so we didn't know anyone who could have dogs and the lady that used to have them didn't reply to me. So I was like, oh no. And then our lovely friends, Kelly and Matt, said they would come over and um, yeah, and house it and look after Rufus as well. They've got a dog called Benny, so I'm sure, and Rufus gets on with Benny, so they'll have good friends. Um, so yeah, Rufus will be here when we're in Edinburgh and Bessie will be here as well. But I'm just tidying up, so they're gonna be staying at Mum's because we still haven't got a kitchen. Our, um, yeah, we've just had a delivery of the fridge and freezer and some and the oven and some other bits. I think the dishwasher, but yeah, the units, um, the units are there, but the top is not on and there's loads of work that needs to be done. So we, we're still using um, this kitchen, which we have been doing since I don't know, maybe February or something, or March, I can't remember, sometime, I think it was March we've been over here using the kitchen. So it's just nice to be at my mum's, you know, and still sort of her house is part of our house because it's kind of the annex, so it's, yeah, it's just really nice this is here. And it just feels like home as well. So we've kind of got two homes at the moment. Um, so I'm just tidying this one up so they can be here for the week. And I bought a couple of little china sets, some more china sets. Um, so I'm getting a little collection of these. I quickly popped into um, a charity shop on the way home and these were £1.50 each and they are, what does it say? By appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, um, Paragon something else, fine bone china. And yes, yeah, so it's a lovely little trio. And they were £1.50. Um, yeah, they're just so pretty. I love these. Um, so this is my teacup of the day. 
tomorrow. Lee and Toby have gone to watch some local football and Louise is coming over in a bit. She's on her way into Yarmouth, so she said she'd pop in um, with Andy and the kids um, for a cup of tea. So we're gonna see her shortly. So I'll get her on the vlog. And then my dad will be here in about an hour's time and I can't wait to see him. And then I've got to show you my curtains and then I'm probably gonna end the vlog because I've got to edit it tonight. Oh, actually I'll do my gig and then I'll end the vlog. So hopefully this will be ready for you Monday at six o'clock. And thank you so much for all the lovely comments on my video I uploaded yesterday, sort of talking about what happened with my mum. And they're just so lovely to read. I've read every single one. Um, and yeah, there's, I think there's loads of us who've lost um, a loved one and it was just, oh, it's just really comforting to read. And so thank you very much if you um, watched the video or took the time to comment, it was really appreciated. And yeah, I am, I am okay. I, it was really, that video was so hard to film. I just really couldn't, at one point I was like, I can't do it, but I got through it. It was, yeah, it was hard to film, but I, you know, I am okay. Everyone keeps writing, it's okay to not be okay. Um, and I totally understand that if I wasn't okay, I wouldn't be, you know, vlogging, but I am, I'm, I am feeling really positive about everything. And like I said, in Friday's video and everyone's written like things, it's little waves, isn't it? That will hit you now and again. Um, and that's inevitable, but you know, I'm okay. I miss her like mad, but yeah, we're doing okay. And Toby's fine and Lee's all right. And you know, life, life is good. We miss her like mad. If we could change it, we could, but we can't. Um, but I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I haven't had one today. I've had a coffee, but I haven't had a tea. So I fancy a tea and I might even use my little posh china. Right, so as promised, here are the curtains that I was very kindly gifted by Blinds Direct. And I will leave their website in the description. So these are, is it ter Terrazzo? I think that's how you say it. Terrazzo print curtains. And these are made to measure. So they got in touch with me and said, um, do I need any blinds or curtains? And I said, oh yeah, I'd love some curtains for in here and I saw these these popped up straight away I was looking for grey curtains um and these came up and I love the print I really love it. and these are interlined as well these are made to measure and they're such good quality I've not ordered made I've not ordered actually I don't think I've ever ordered curtains before because I didn't I didn't know what I was doing so it always kind of um scared me a little bit but it's so easy me and Lee just measured up the window and put in the measurements on the website and you get various different options. We went for, I think this is the interlined, they, they're really heavy um, interline curtains, but you can have like blackout, you can have all types of different ones. Um, and we went for these and I really love them. And Lee thought we just, he was like, oh, I don't think we need curtains, maybe just a blind. He loves them more than me. He was like, oh, I love these curtains, they're so cozy. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with them. And I've got all the colors in of our bedroom. So thank you so much, um, Blinds Direct, for sending me these. And I also got the tie backs, which we're gonna put on as well. They're in the same um, same pattern, the same material. We haven't put them on yet, um, but they will go on. And I also got a lovely cushion, which I'll show you in just a second. And thank you so much to Blinds Direct because they were really patient with me because I've had these for quite a while, um, but obviously I wasn't vlogging and they were so lovely. So thank you very much for being a lovely company. Um, so if you do need blinds or curtains, it's actually, it's so straightforward. I'm not just saying that, it really is. So have a look on their website um, and you can get um, quotes. I think instant quotes, have a look there. It's linked in the description and thank you very very much once again blinds direct for my beautiful curtains and here is the matching cushion with its piped edging and it's exactly the same material and that goes on the bed but it's messy at the minute because it's got all these packing for edinburgh on so i just thought i'd show you here but it's really soft and squidgy and you can get curtain curtains you can get cushions um with different things um to match as well so yeah i love my little cushion i do love a cushion and i love the fact that that um you know once that's on the bed it brings all the colors in and just pulls it all together. That looks so nice. Do you like the uh, our new it floor? It looks like you've got like our new, new floor. units. <laughs> I love the new floor. Oh look, my injury. Oh, Louise got an injury. Look who's here, it's Louise. Yeah, hi. Hello, how are you? Well, there's a blame, there's a claim. Yeah, she's trying to claim on me on the drive. Yeah, it was on a conquer. Oh, oh, oh my nails. it's actually bleeding. Yeah. Oh no. I what know. are you, you going to do? I'm not coming round again. <laughs> Do you want, do you want a plaster? I'm, I'm not coming round if I don't feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> no, hello, Andy. Hey, hello, Andy. Hey, you all right? Andy, Andy. Hello, mate. You all right? He's got his pink t shirt on. No, I like your life. pink. Is that from Charity Shop? That's Charity Shop. How much was that? Five pounds. Did I find you that one or did you find it? Did you find that or did I? I found it. Oh, good boy, Andy. Well done. You found that one. Oh, yeah, another bit of charity. You like charity shops too, don't you? Yeah. You have to 
<laughs> no, I do. You'll have so, to do a haul. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're terrible. Aren't they? Louise has had her hair cut and it looks lovely. Thank you. It looks really nice. Yeah, I. Um, the only thing is that when I straighten it, it mm -hmm. like kinks out a little bit. So I think it looks great. It needs to just be a love little it. bit longer. I'm going to grow mine now. Growing it. Yeah, I love your hair long. Growing it. And then I've never seen your hair dark. short though, I don't think. I, I think when I short. first met you, yeah. you had it about it here. It was about your length. Yeah. It's about that length. Was it? Yeah. I think it was that short. But yeah, right. It's nice. It's nice. Should we get a cup of tea? Yeah. Come on. I don't know. I don't think you've got a mug that we can... Oh uh, yeah, I am a short. short on mugs. <laughs> Ah, oh, Louise and Andy's dog is here. Hello. He's not been on the vlog for ages, and here he is. It's very fast. Sit. Do you want a... Do you... Oh, gravy bone. Yay. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he's happy. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? My dad's here, and he's watching rugby in the snug room, so we're going to go say hi to him. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah, good uh, trip off. You watching? You tripped up? Oh, are you okay? No, oh, right. yeah, yeah, I'll survive. Ha -ha. I'm watching a New Zealand match, very important. Rugby, yeah, he was, yeah. he's been, you've been very unsociable just watching rugby. At the moment, yeah. Oh. This is all rugby, very sociable. Say hi to all your bloggers. Hello, bloggers, how are you doing? Oh, it's nice to have you back on YouTube, Dad. Yeah, nice to be back on YouTube. Good. Rufus Bestie. Oh, oh no. Bessie's chasing Rufus. What's going on? Oh no! Bessie wants to play, I don't think Rufus does, he's gone back in. Bestie! Oh hello Bestie, oh did a cut. Is a dada cut. Hello! Okay, we're just watching the Tottenham match and um, nice, Toby's put this glove on there. Nice to meet you, hello. Hello! Oh, you're breaking it! You're breaking it! You're breaking it! <laughs> it's 20 minutes past eight and I've just got ready um, for my gig tonight at Vauxhall Holiday Park but it is so windy the um I had some plant pots on mum's window ledge and uh, one of them blew and smashed off so I just put the other two down they're only like from the car boot sale the little pots are about 50p or something but um it's still sad it was all smashed um so it's just yes yeah, really windy the, the the weather is crazy it's rain it's been rainy um it's been sunny it's windy and it's not cold which is so odd isn't it because normally when it's like this like oh i'm really cold but i'm actually i've been really hot today um so i'm just gonna head off to my gig and hopefully it'll go well because i haven't sung in ages so hopefully all my songs will come back to me and i'll have a little like um sing through them when i get backstage i've already got my dress on for this evening because it's only it's only local um it'll take me about 10 minutes to get there and i can sneak in around the back so i just put my dress on i'm wearing on stage and i'll just put my heels on um and then i will be ready and i've got my ipad so that's all I need for my gig so I'm just gonna head there now um, and I'm on stage in about 40 minutes it's 10 to 11 I am back home and I had the loveliest gig it was brilliant it was so much fun I really needed like a nice gig um, and it was it was great like oh, there was a hen party who were just brilliant and then there was um, some really nice families and those kids dancing so yeah I really enjoyed it um, yeah, it was lovely. I really liked but all just slept my thigh for some reason. Um, yeah, I love singing at Vauxhall Holiday Park. I'm there quite a lot, so um, yes, that was good. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm going to edit it and upload it tonight um, so it's ready for Monday at 6 o'clock um, because we're off to Edinburgh in the morning. Then I'll do a separate vlog um, kind of for ne of next week um, and of the weekend. So probably just add that on monday unless i break it up i don't know if there'll be time if there is i'll break up the vlogs but this was just um a nice weekend vlog to kind of ease my way back into vlogging but it's great being back and i hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and i will speak to you on friday um with a video a very happy video so that's friday at six o'clock in the meantime i'll be on instagram i'm kate mckaby and i've got a house account called kate's homely home so um, yes, come over to Instagram and say hello there. Um, that would be very nice. Um, right, so thanks very much. I'll speak to you on Friday. Have a great week. Bye.